Hey guys, um, I'm back today with another rant, um, uh, story time, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Uh, this one is about people not coming in and managers not scheduling people for, um, you know, for work. It means, here's the thing, it makes it hard on everybody else if you don't come to work or the managers don't schedule people. Because you're sending people like assistant managers, um, and people from other stores to come and help you out. Number one, just fucking hire somebody else to help work here. Some more people. Because I remember, like, over that Memorial Day weekend, no, like, everybody was, like, not coming in. That was scheduled. And, like, everybody got terminated there for, when they didn't come in. Everybody did. I didn't because I wasn't scheduled to work. But the point is, like, if you're going to fire that much people and then, like, not hire as many people and just keep... Relying on other people to send you, you like workers. That's not fair to everybody else. Not really, because like if they don't have people to send, then like you're gonna be hurting. Just fucking hire some people. Stop being cheap. Like if I could, that makes me like super pissed off and mad enough that like I wanna like murder you, because that that makes it hard on everybody else. Cause like um when this guy went home, um let's call him Aaron. When he went home, like, there's, there is, like, um, actually a lot more people went home. Um, but this one guy, Danny, like, during the lunch rush, he left me alone in the kitchen. And there's a lot of orders coming in. Like, number one, like, please don't do that. Like, that's not fair to me or anybody else. Like, you're kind of an asshole for doing that. Like, I wanted to slap him because he was in there for, like, 20 minutes when I, and he was still on the clock. He wasn't on break. And he, like, was just playing on his phone for 20 minutes when I was in there, like, getting, you know, like, rushing and struggling until my manager, let's call her, hmm, Sarah, comes in and, like, helps me. I'm like, I don't really appreciate you doing that, dude. Like, seriously. And then, you know, like, he leaves and, like, the other people clock out and there's only, like, five of us until, like, an hour before um, we close and then one hour before we close that um this guy um uh, let's call him hmm, Carson checks out and there's only four of us in that kitchen I'm in the kitchen there's the man there's a uh, manager the assistant manager and then there's this one guy who comes in pretty much every day um he was actually there for like two hours early because he wasn't scheduled to come in until seven and he uh, wanted to work early. Let's let's call this dude. Hmm. Let's call him Fred. Um. He, you know, there's only four of us. I'm in the kitchen, like struggling to get like several big orders because there's, and that's the other thing. Like people, come on, just just come on, people. <laughs> Please do not, like, um, make big orders. Like, try and shy away the best you can from those big orders. Like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, like, big orders of, like, different things. Like, let's say you order one McChicken, um, one Nuggets, one, um, this. Like, these fries, these drinks. Like, okay, that's okay. But please, like, try and shy away from ordering, like, big orders of one particular thing. Like, 10 McChickens or like 10 like things of t 20 nuggets or something like that because that's not fair to a the people in the kitchen because like they're struggling and like you're just like being an asshole that's that's just like an asshole move like one day like I'm gonna punch somebody when they do that because it, they, it's not fair to us especially this one person in the kitchen it's like come on and, like yesterday we didn't get a break there's like a lot of like big orders I guess people didn't want to cook on like Saturday and that's just not really fair to everybody else you know like you put in a big order that uh, that's just like oh my god like I hate people that do that put in the comments if you have anything related to this or have anything to add to like right here because it's kind of just not fair like 10 mixed chickens okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then okay done like uh, like, but there's when there's one person in the kitchen, I'm like trying to get ten different buns made 
getting tons of chicken, chickens from the drawers and like putting them down there. And it's just like, really, just really people, you're doing that and it's just, it's just like, wow, really people, like, it gets on my nerves when you order big orders like that. Yeah, as you can see, like, right down in that little left corner, that's my dog Fred's ear. Um, it's just not really fair to everybody else that you do that. Um, and if there's one person in the kitchen, it makes people's job that much harder. And, like, if you're wanting, like, a bunch of shit, like, cooked to order, like, ten chickens cooked to order, or, like, tw um, five quarter pounders cooked to order, really, people? Really? That's, that's just going all the way, like, if I could, like, I would beat the shit out of you for people that do that, because, like, that just makes everybody's life that much harder. Like, are you seriously that selfish that you want this cooked order, that all, like, all these, like, cooked order? So, yeah, please, like, shy away from those, like, big-ass orders. And it's just, like, one or two, like, cooked orders thing. Okay, like, we can handle that. Yeah, okay, like, go for it, like. But it's a large quantity of one thing that you want to order, like 10 McChickens to order, like, no. Not, not gonna happen, boy. Not gonna happen. And, like, managers. Now back to the main point. Managers, come on, people. Just hire some people. You can take labor costs, okay? And, like, I'm a minor, so, like, legally I'm supposed to have a break. I didn't get any break through the um, six hours that I worked last night. I worked 4 to 10 last night, didn't get a break because we were so full on, like, so little people were staffed. I didn't get a break. Like, that can, like, help them, that can, like, hurt them legally. But I didn't get a break because people were messing around and all that, sh like, pretty little shit. Like, if you're working, like, please don't mess around when there's a big order like that. That just makes, that just, like, hurts everybody. Um, And it's just, like... Come on, managers. You don't need that much money. And if you're putting people through this much stress, like, I was I was about ready to quit yesterday and just go home, never come back. Because nobody was there. Almost nobody was there helping me. Nobody was, like, you know, there. I could have used some help. Like, I actually, like, said to um, one of the workers that went home, like, with, um, you know, that one guy and everything. Um. Uh, I actually was like, hey, can I get a little help here in the kitchen? She's like, oh, sorry, I'm going home. When about five minutes until um, the manager comes in, I probably shouldn't have said Jade. Shit, that's her actual name. Um, wait, did I say that? No, I called her Sarah, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Sarah came in, like, helped me, and I'm just like, really, people? Really? Since there's so many big orders, and then Sarah went home. And it's only me and like one of the main managers in there, and then the assistant manager came in. Um, the other manager like was helping me because I had to grill some shit. I had to like get a lot of shit done. That manager, let's call her Grace, comes in, helps me out, and like you know, like thank God for her. Like it was her last day because like she's pretty sick. Like. She was coughing. I'm pretty sure she was gonna die or something like that. And like she kind of lives like five houses down from me, so I don't know if she died or not. Um, she lives like literally five houses down over there, and so I don't know if she died. And she was like still helping me out and all that stuff. And she's like kind of rude, being like I don't care. And I'm saying like I'm about ready to like quit or something. She's like I don't care because it's my last day anyways. Like I got her last two days that she was there. But the point is like. People, just either, if you're a manager, hire more people. Um, if you're a customer, shy away from the large orders. Just, just please, it helps everybody out a lot more. And, like, it, it's, it's just, like, kind of, like, an asshole kind of thing when you have those big orders. Like, I want to let this go, but I just can't because of how annoyed it makes me. It's like, you have the nerve to do that. There's only me in the kitchen. You were 10 McChickens and then like there's more orders. Um so this so they actually had this one person. Um let's call him 
no, before he went home at, um, like, 9, I believe, um, he worked, like, from, I want to say, you know, let's, let's, let's call him, hmm, let's call him Ray, shall we? So, like, before he goes, like, there's this, like, big-ass order. I have to drop a lot of buns because there's more orders behind it, A. Eh? And B, there's, like, a lot of people, like, it was, like, two ten McNuggets and, like, I believe 11 McChickens. So, like, I was getting everything ready. And, like, because I was going to go an hour and there's only going to be three people there. The two, the manager, the assistant manager, and then um, that one guy, Aaron, I believe we decided to call him, right? Like, was there, he was helping, like, that was the only thing, like, there's only three of them there, and they, and I believe that they're open in there till, like, one o'clock in the morning, so it's, it's just not very fair, you know, like, if you're, like, not scheduling people to come in, okay, that's the one thing, like, schedule people to come in, but don't rely on other people to, like, come in and help you. Because that's where this, like, I was hurting. Like, I actually think that, like, a few days ago, I hurt my wrist. I'm st I was still working with a hurt wrist. But, like, when I flip burgers or every now and then, like, if I, I move it, it'll be, like, sore. It'll, like, it'll, like, hurt like I pulled something in it. But I'm, like, still working. And it was, like, I, I had to make two things fresh. I had to make a lot of McChickens because of those, like, two big-ass big, big -ass orders of McChickens. One was, like, 11. One was 10, I believe. And then it's just, like, oh, like, managers, like, scheduled people come in, like, don't be cheap, and hire some people for God fucking sake. That's all we're really asking here. Like, just kind of be humane in this thing. I didn't get my legally scheduled break because we were getting so many freaking orders, and I didn't want to just leave that manager to do whatever she wanted to do for that 30, 30 minutes I was legally scheduled. So, if, like, I, so if, A, some, like, legal person finds out, or some person, like, finds out, and, like, they get fined, and, like, they lose the money, and it's just, like, just hire somebody. It makes everybody's life a lot easier. Schedule people to come in more. I don't know. Just don't rely on everybody else's, like, people that you can send. And I'm just, like, oh, my gosh, people. Like, what gives you any right to like you know put me through that because I, that was only my 13th day there like that was only my 13th total day there and this was like my third week there and like I still didn't have anything down like I, I have a couple things down like but I'm kind of still in the kitchen so when there's those big ass orders and all that shit I'm just like rushing like stressed and, like, it's just a lot easier if the managers just hire people and have them come in. Don't remind everybody else to send you people. Like, just, like, have, or have somebody double shift. Like, stay, rack up overtime. I don't care. Just help me out, please. Please. And, like, it's just, like, wow, people. It just like gets me worked up and pissed off at how these people run. Like seriously, like I was like pissed, ready to quit, and like I was like sweating so much. By the end, I'm like, whoa, I gotta get out of here. So I left a little bit before I was supposed to. Thank God my ride came a little bit early, and I'm. It just, like, pisses everybody off if you have the nerve to actually do that stuff. Um, without further ado, thanks for watching and bye.